Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Kagadash, Daran, and Sadeh, the prosperous, great millstone, Thomas, truth, and real will. Peace, blessing, and salutation. I came out there, scattered abroad to the four corners of the earth, that serving this truth and all true sincerity to you. I say Shalom. It's your brother Nabala coming to you with another video in the spirit. And uh, this is just going to be like an exhortation type video, you know, for for the brothers, you know. And basically, the, the the point is, be thankful, you know, that we're that we're in this truth, you know. Be thankful that y'all buy some y'all shy, open up our eyes and our ears to be able to to receive this thing because we have to understand, you know, it's a lot of people, you know, to be more specific, two thirds of Jake who's not going to get this thing, you know, who, who who's going to be destroyed, you know, so. Be thankful that the Lord has chosen you, you know, to to be one of those, be one of those people to uh, to hear this truth, be able to understand it. But that's not it, you know. Just because we know that we know the truth doesn't mean that we're we're saved. You know, we still gotta put in our work, you know. We still gotta uh, give diligence to make our calling like sure, like the scriptures say. Roughly paraphrasing that scripture, so. We have to make sure we're doing our part so the Lord can keep us as well. Because just because he 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 opened this up, opened the truth us to us now, don't mean or he's gonna keep us, you know? Like the scriptures say, many are called but few are chosen. So we gotta make sure that we're not taking this for granted and that and that we understand how serious this is and, and we and we treat this as work because that's what this is. You know, this is this is work. You know, this is the Lord's work. So we gotta treat it as so, okay? And we just gotta be thankful for that. You know, because it's you know, it's a lot of it's a lot of people in the world, you know. And it not just and it's not, you know, if you've been in this thing for a minute, you understand it is not based off of uh the outside appearance, it's based on the spirit. So there's a lot of people in this world, you know, it's like foreigners and all. You know, and he chose he chose us to be the ones to 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 get it to get it now and to con and to and to continue in the work. So we gotta be grateful for that. And I'm gonna bring out this scripture. This is Romans eleven and seven. It says, Within Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it in the rest of blinded kind. So only the elect is gonna get this thing at the end of the day. But the rest were blinded. So you gotta understand that some people are gonna never never get it. And that's that's a testimony in itself, you know, just to to continue to go hard for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, because he could have had you in a lot of, of those to to not get it. And uh, let me grab the scripture real quick. It is Ezekiel twelve and two. It says, "Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house, which have eyes to see, and see not." They have ears to hear and hear not, for they are a rebellious house. Kind. So we're dwelling in the midst of a rebellious house, which is our people. You know, they're rebellion. But what? The scriptures say they have eyes to see but see not. They have ears to hear but hear not. So they, they can see. They they see us on the highways and byways. You know, they hear us, you know, on the highways and byways preaching the word. They see us on, on social media. They hear us on social media preaching the word. But what? They still don't get it. The Lord has that veil over their eyes where they were not allowed to get it. And we have to understand that the Lord could could, could have did us like that. He could have left us out here, you know, in the unknown. But he, he chose us. And that's a big deal. But that doesn't mean that he can't put us back in that position. You know, there's a time out here when we was in the unknowing. We didn't know, you know. And, and he opened up our eyes. But we can't take that for granted. You know, we have to we have to keep pushing. We have to. Because once once you start like the scriptures say, now just puff us up. So once you know, once you start getting lazy or you think you're not learning, you when you get to the point you just stop learning. You know, you should never stop learning this truth. There's always stuff to learn. But once you get into that point and you know the Lord, he can take this thing away from you and give it to somebody else. And now you back in the world. And that's a fearful thing. Because we already know the scripture is talking about what happens if you fall back in the world. 
You done been in this truth and now you back in the world. Your end is not going to be good. It's going to be worse because you know better. But you fell out. So, and ultimately, we should all, we got to keep that fear on us too. Because as long as we keep that fear of the Lord on us, then Lord willing, we don't fall out. Lord willing, he keeps us in this thing. And he, he allows us to endure to the end. Because that's the ultimate goal. To endure to the end. Yeah, we're doing the work now, but we can't just do the work now. We have to finish it. We have to finish this work. You know, we have to finish our course. Like like the brothers always say, you know, it's not a race, it's a marathon. You know, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon, you know. So we got to keep pushing. Keep pushing, keep pushing. You know, continue to keep going in this thing. Continue to ask mercy. from y'all by shim y'all shot. And, and not take it for granted, you know, because the Lord is long suffering. But the Lord, is the, like the scripture says, the eyes of the Lord are upon a sinful kingdom. The eyes of the Lord are 10,000 10, brighter than the sun, roughly paraphrasing. So he sees everything. So there's nothing that you, you're, you're out here getting away with. And now that he sees everything, he's here, hear everything. So you want to make sure that you're on point. And that you're applying these scriptures daily to your life. Okay? And uh, I'm going to grab this scripture. Just the back of the point I made. This is John 4 and 34. It says, Yahweh Shai said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Kind. So, I was being in the truth. We have to do the Lord's will, which is what? Bringing out, bringing out the word. So we can't be, we can't allow ourselves to get entangled in the affairs of this life so much. You know, we have to, we have to continue continuously on a daily, put off the old man and renew ourselves in in this in the, in these scriptures, renew ourselves in the mind. And get better. Get better in these scriptures, breaking down these scriptures on a daily. We have to continue to do that because we don't. As long as we do that, we know we're gonna be okay. But we don't know what what, what the Lord has in, has in store for us. That's why the scriptures say, "Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling." We have to make sure that we keep that fear on us. As long as we keep that fear on us, you know, you should you gonna you gonna you gonna wanna act straight, you're gonna wanna act right. And that's the main thing. You know, we're striving to rehearse the righteous act to the best of our ability, you know. And that's just another thing to be thankful for as well. You know, that we're we're actually striving to to, to be righteous in this wicked ass society. You know, we're we're striving to be better than than the average Average Jake out here. So I always remember that, brothers. You know, we're in a, we're in a good case. You know, that we got the Lord on our side, and the Lord is gonna do His part for us as long as we do our part for Him. So um, that's pretty much it. You know, I'm not gonna make it too long. Just a quick exhortation. You know, brothers, keep pushing, keep pushing. It's a year to turn up. We we see the thing that's going on. We see prophecy happening. We see E being sloppy again. You know, we see him coming out with that great rap like it speaks about in Revelation twelve and twelve. We see him. We see that playing out. So continue to keep pushing, brother. Continue to be diligent. So like, yeah, continue to be diligent and, and continue to keep growing in this thing. So, Lord, when this video was edifying, I'm going to close up by giving our praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukakadash, Shalom.